Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Hi, I am Janice Henderson from Allen East Middle. Welcome to the New Six. With today's first story, here is Corey Gladwell. When, hear a siren, when you hear a siren going off and see rolling red lights, you know the rescue squad is in action and somebody needs help. But did you know the members of the squad are volunteers and work for free? Amy Deerhake talks to the fire chief who tells us more about his work. Hi, my name is Amy Deerhake. I'm here today with Chief Dre at Harrod Fire and Rescue. We're going to talk about the Rescue Squad. What's the Rescue Squad? Rescue Squad is fire department and ambulance service, both helping people in the community. Uh, anytime anybody needs any type of help, whether it's rescue or fire. What role do you play in the Rescue Squad? Well, I am the fire chief, but I actually out on a rescue run, I am just one of the other members of the volunteer fire department. I'm an advanced EMT and care for the victim just as any other volunteer would on the department. What role do you play in a 911 call? 911 call is received at a dispatching area at the sheriff's department. They dispatch volunteer rescue and fire department, whichever is needed call comes in, volunteers come to the fire station and pick up either an ambulance or a fire truck, go to the scene and care for the victim or if it's a house fire, take care of the house. How do you handle the stress of this job? Sometimes after a run or a fire, a group of people get together in a meeting room and try to have a little fun and put the scenario back together to handle the stress of the job, either recreating the accident or talking about the fire scene to see how better we could have did the job. How does it feel to save someone's life? If, if you get the opportunity to save someone's life, it's just when that person looks up at you and smiles and says thank you. I, th I think that's what most volunteers are out here, either at, at a fire scene or a rescue scene, is just for the thanks and the smile from that person. Today's News 6 is produced by Allen East Middle School. Our school is in Herod, which is two miles south of Lima. Herod was founded in 1883 and has a population of 580. If you were driving past Lafayette and were dazzled by 15,000 Christmas lights, don't be surprised. People come from all around to see Christmas decoration at Sue Plummer's house. Crystal Underwood gives us more details. Hi, my name is Crystal Underwood. Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so I decided to bring my class here to the Plumber's Residence to see over 10,000 Christmas lights. When did you start decorating your home with lights? Well, we've lived here for 22 years and we've decorated every year. And for about the last seven years, we've put up the uh, wooden figurines. How long does it take to put up over 10,000 lights? We start in the middle of October and we work weekends up until Thanksgiving. What's the public's response to this? It seems to be very good. During the Christmas season, we have quite a few cars driving up and down the road. And uh, quite often in the summertime, people have stopped while we're out in the yard and told us that they really enjoy our Christmas lights. What do you get out of doing this every year? Well, I've always enjoyed the Christmas season. And I feel that if this brings a smile to somebody's face, it's worth it. Thank you, Sue Plummer, for the great interview. Holidays are here again, but have you thought of doing something interesting? Well, this week's Kid View question asks the sixth graders, what is your favorite holiday and why? Hi, this week's Kid View question is, what's your favorite holiday and why?
My favorite holiday is Christmas because of the joy it brings. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving because I like spending it with family and friends. My favorite holiday is Christmas because the day after my birthday. Loud, proud, and peach bowl bound. Our final story is about Alan East Mustang Marching Brass Band, we, which will be attending the Peach Bowl Classic in Atlanta next year. Leah Krause talks to Mr. Delfield, who gives us more details. Hi, my name is Leah Krause, and I'm here interviewing music teacher Mr. D on his band, The Marching Brass, who this year happened to be going to the Peach Bowl. How many students are in the marching band? For football season, we march 135, and then we'll be adding our football team also to the Peach Bowl, so we'll be right around 156 members. What type of music does your band play? We are basically a dance and swing style marching band. We play a lot of pop music and a lot of dance music. Are students selected for the band based on pure talent or potential? My job is a music educator. And as a music educator, I want to teach the total student. Therefore, many have talent, many have potential. Hopefully by the time they get into high school band, we can mesh those two together so we have a top-notch individual. How does the marching band from Allen County make it all the way to the Peach Bowl? Ours was based on a videotape that we sent based on our past performances at the Cincinnati and Cleveland Browns football games, the Indy 500, the All-Star Game in Maslin, and various festivals around the state of Ohio that we participated in. Why do you think this will be a good experience for the students? This will be our first major appearance with the marching band as far as an overnight goes. It's also educational. We'll be um, visiting various aspects of historic Atlanta as well, besides all the participating things that the brass will be in. Thank you, Mr. Delfield, for letting us see the Mustang Band in practice. This week in Critic Cor Critics Corner, Allen East Middle School selected Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Tracy Bennett. The story is about Cassie Logan and her family who live in the Mississippi in 1933. They are one of the few black families to own land. Cassie, who feels safe and carefree, thinks everyone is equal, but read the story and experience what Cassie goes through. That's all for this week's show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when the 6th grade class of Fort Jennings Elementary visits New 6. Support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.